Did you go? Certainly. I got in the car and I went out as fast as I could. And what did you find? Found her lying on the floor in the middle of the front room, the one on the right as you go in. She was pretty well beat up, but I heaved her to her feet and she washed her face in a bucket in the corner and said she was all right. And I asked her who hurt her and she said it was Tom Robinson. Oh, Harper Lee, she knows how to do it. She was pretty well bruised up when I got there and she had a black eye coming. Which eye? Mr. Tate blinked and ran his head through his hair. Let's see, he said softly. Then he looked at Atticus as if he were considered the question childish. It was her right eye, Mr. Finch, and I remember now she was bunged up on that side of her face. I think I'm gonna stop for a minute. I used to read more. It's getting hard today for some reason. Uh, I don't know how many times you read this book. Several, several for me too. Uh, said before that I had everything under control. Everything was going good, but I cleaned out the refrigerator the other day and found some Tabasco sauce that had been in there since 1977, so I, I can't say I'm really up to date on everything. But anyway, it's up to date now. Haven't seen the kids. Uh, they'll all show up at once, I imagine. That kind of happens that way. And that's always good. They've been a great help. Weekends are the toughest because everybody's doing their thing. But I'm getting by. And I hope you would be pleased. Thomas Jefferson once said all men are created equal, a phrase that the Yankees and the distaff side of the executive branch in Washington are fond of hurling at us. There is a tendency in this year of our of grace, 1935, for certain people to use a phrase out of context to satisfy all conditions. The most ridiculous example I can think of is that it. How you doing, Mr. Archer? Hi. Good to see you. I just wanted to let you know I'm uh kind of going around cleaning up. I'm going to be locking the gate here pretty soon. Um, so. Yeah, well, I, I uh, didn't realize it, it's okay if I read some more, but uh, just another paragraph or two before I leave. Oh, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I guess I, I actually have to go and type a few more loose ends. So yeah, I could, uh, I guess I could go and put that stuff away. Huh. And then I could actually come back around here and, and uh, I'd give, give you a lift to the front gate if you need that. Oh, thank you. Thank you. That, that would help. That sound good? Yes, sir. No problem. Thank you. Guess we can pick up where we left off. Finding it hard to read, but 
I still enjoy the story. What's going on, man? Uh, I'm just getting off work. Yep. Uh, probably in about 15, 20 minutes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'd like to. That'd be great. Pro yeah, well, no, give me about 30 or 45 minutes because you know, there's, uh, there's just always little things to do around here. It may take me a little longer. <laughs> yeah, well, if you don't pay, you really can't play. All right. Okay. Yeah, no, no, 45 minutes or so. Sounds good. Bye. Jim and I detected squirrel cooking, and it took an old countryman like Atticus to identify a possum and rabbit, aromas that vanished when we rode past the Yule place. Uh, it's been a nice day. I know the days last summer were so bad, but today's been perfect, just perfect. Heard from Steve. He's going to make it back by May, maybe even late April. I'm, I'm looking forward to that. In fact, everybody is. Uh, see Charles every now and then. Things are going about like they were. But we have a good time when we talk. Neighbors come and stand with us and we laugh standing out in the street. That's not too bad. I guess that's my social life. It means a lot to me to be out here. Yeah. I have to say goodbye every evening. Um, But I'll be looking forward to coming back tomorrow, so good night. Oh hi. I'm I'm finished with all the stuff I'm done, so about ready? Yes, sir. Yeah. I'm okay. Ready. Say good night. It's uh, a little jammed sometimes. Thank you. Well, I really appreciate this, Ben. It, the gate moves further and further every day. No, it's no problem at all. Don't worry about it. You're here when I come every day. How many hours do you work? I put in probably 35 to 40 a week. Um, you know, if there's stuff to be done, if I came in and as long as I'm working on something, they kind of they don't limit how long I can work. I can work as long as I want to, really. Well, to me, it would seem like a good place to be. It's quiet and restful. Yeah. Everybody enjoys your work. Yeah, yeah. I mean. I, I mean, I like being outside, and I don't mind doing this kind of work, so it's it's good for me for now. I like being out here, too. Well, that other fellow likes to lock up promptly. I've always appreciated the fact that you kept it open a little longer. Oh, Jimmy? Jimmy, yeah, I didn't know his name, but I see him a lot, but I've never met him. Well, he's a little bit of a stickler, yeah. He does seem to have pretty strict habits, but I understand that because yeah. I, I'm one of those myself, I think. Well, yeah. 
by coming out here every day. Yeah. Come out every day. Yeah. Yeah, all day, every day. But I found that a lot of habits that my wife and I had have carried forward. I still sleep on the same side of the bed. And she liked to keep the soap on the right hand side of the sink and I liked it on the left and uh, it's been three years and it's still on the right. I don't know whether I'm gonna change that or not. But you prefer it on the left? I do. <laughs> Something I to think about. What else do you do? Nothing. Oh. This is this is my job. I like it's what it's gotten to be. But I ought to think about that too. Hmm. I just need to close this gate real quick. All right, I'm locked up, ready to go. When's your bus coming? About, about five minutes. Okay. Where does it stop? Right down here. Oh, over here? Yeah, oh. by the side. Okay. Well, do you live nearby? Yeah, yeah. Uh, 14 and a half. Okay. I guess I, mean, I could just give you a ride to your house. Well, I appreciate that. I. I, th I think I better go ahead with the schedule we got. It works for me. Okay. Well, I guess you do it every day, so. Um, yeah. All right. Well, you want to? Yeah. I, I've been reading this book every day. I was wondering if you might have one you could recommend to me. What? I was wondering if you had, if you could recommend a book to me since I've read this one. Oh. Um. I guess I, I don't really read that many books. I'm kind of ashamed to say I don't really have one. Well, maybe one will come to you. Yeah, I was supposed to read that book, uh, in seventh grade or something. But I, yeah. I didn't do it. I watched the movie. So. Uh, yeah, well, yeah, I'll try okay. to come up with a book title. Thank and, you. Uh, and then um, maybe the next time I see you, I can pass one. Of course, that means I have to probably read a book. But... <laughs> well, listen, if everything's okay, I'm going to head on out. Yeah, thank you. Okay, all right. You have a good night. And, thank uh, you very and much. I'll, I guess I'll see you here okay. soon. All right. Good. Take care. Okay.